Hey, I'm Spectrum Ball and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be talking a bit about my thoughts about the new Mac Pro that just came out, uh, coming out, sorry, and um, my Hackintosh computer that I use in my studio. Now, um, I've had a Mac Pro before. I bought one in 2010. It was a 2006 um, new Mac Pro. was very happy with it. Worked with New Window 4, New Window 5 flawlessly, but I needed an upgrade and I eventually went toward Hackintosh. I think at that time, first I don't think I could afford a Mac, um, and, but I do love the Mac operating system. So I built myself a Hackintosh used an I, a Haswell chip, um, i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 3 terabytes hard drive space, gigabyte motherboard, and at that time a 970 uh, NVIDIA card. Now I have a 1080 Ti, I do enjoy playing games once in a while, and I also enjoy VR. I've not played VR in a bit, probably should go back and, you know, screw around, a lot of fun. So, having a Hackintosh for audio production. I think it works just like a Mac if it's configured correctly. Um, I was very ha but you have to watch out with updates because if you update it it might not work so make sure that you check on the sites that you uh, that help you um, inform you how to build a Hackintosh to see if the update does not break your system. Make sure you always back up your system because trust me it's a pain in the ass to get it back up and running again. Um, copy Cloner, I think it's Copy Cloner is what I use to back up my system. Great program. I will post a link below um, just in case you want a good um, clone copy of your system. It, you do have to pay, it's not free, but it is worth it. So anyway, what do I think of the new Mac Pro? Well, I saw it, I was excited about it. I do think the handles kind of look like bathroom handles. <laughs> Um, I, but I, it's a pretty powerful machine. I mean, it has the new Xeons in it. It has the new AMD, um, Navi, um, architecture. And it looks like a pretty powerful machine. But $6,000. Even the new Mac Pros back then were 3000 That is a lot. That's a lot of money. Especially that they give you, what, 16 gigabytes of RAM and they only give you uh, 256 um, SSD um, hard drive? My God, <laughs> that is, that's crazy. You at least need it one terabyte uh, for that type of money. And I also read some um, articles and that that type of machine kind of costs about three thousand dollars with the same practically the same parts so I would probably end up rather building that type of Hackintosh than buying the Mac Pro machine. Um, the gr great thing about buying just the Mac is that you buy it, you put it down, you get to work. That's it. I mean with a Hackintosh you have to freaking fiddle around you have to make you have to know what you're going to be doing you're gonna put clover on it. Um, I think Tony 86 has a um, you could either put Clover or you could put another um, system booter um, to get everything working. I'm sorry, I just don't remember the system. I think it's Multibeast. It's Multibeast. Um, I enjoy Clover much more than I do Multibeast. I've always had issues with Multibeast. But if you, are, if you want to build a Hackintosh, I think it's a great idea. Um, just make sure that you are ready to um, you know, do some research. Uh, make sure that you buy the correct parts and um, you know build it and when it gets and when it starts working you'll be like holy shit man this is great and install your stuff just make sure that you check up the websites before you update because it could crash your system I've been thinking about building a new Hackintosh eventually not now because my operating system is working great I really don't have any problems with this or VR and it's already six years old but the new AMDs that are coming out, um, the new Threadrippers that I've read about, I think a day or two ago, um, kind of got me excited um, to see what they're about. But I am actually kind of interested in doing an AMD Hackintosh. Now, that would be much, uh, that would be a much more of a challenge, but I am interested in that because I just like that type of stuff. Anyway, these are my thoughts about the Mac Pro and the thoughts about Hackintoshing. So, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.